It's important to develop a problem-solving mindset. When you see something, whether it be a real object or a 2D picture, try to come up with the best way to model it yourself before following along a tutorial. It will definitely help you a lot down the road. Let's start by adding a UV sphere. Move it up, then scale it in edit mode. You can press Shift Z if you don't want to scale in the Z axis. I'm going to turn on proportional editing and scale the bottom area better. You can increase or decrease the proportional editing influence by scrolling your mouse wheel. Shade Smooth in Object Mode and turn on Auto Smooth. Press Alt-Z for X-Ray Mode. Turn off Proportional Editing, then slide the loop down by pressing G twice. Three for Face Select and let's separate these faces. Do the same for these bottom faces. You might not realize it, but it's pretty difficult to make a round hole on a curved shape like this. There are shading issues, and Boolean operations need too much cleaning up. I've tried many different methods and settled for this one. Loop tool comes in real handy for this. Uncheck flatten and there you go. We'll duplicate and separate the whole area, then hide it for later use. Let's do the same for the smaller window. Now's the fun part. Select both window faces, inset, then extrude inward. Inset one more time. Add a subsurf. I went for three this time. Press Ctrl 2 for top and bottom pieces we separated earlier to add subsurf modifier. Let's do something to this ugly pole area. Delete this vertex and F to close. Let's inset and move the loop slightly up. Do it one more time. Now do the same for the bottom piece. I'm going to add a cone for the top area. Let's scale it and place it at the top. It's time for the cool looking fins. I'm gonna duplicate these side edges.
Remove the modifier and extrude twice. Start shaping the fin. Once you're done, add a solidify modifier and a subsurf modifier. Shade smooth. Let's apply the solidify modifier and add some loop cuts. Refine the shape. Once you're satisfied, add an array modifier. 3 for count, check object offset, and select the empty. I've added an empty to prepare for that. Enter 120 for the empty's Z rotation. Hmm. What happened? I did apply all transforms before, but let's do that one more time. That wasn't the problem. I forgot to uncheck relative offset. You can run into the same mistake, so be careful. Now it's working fine. Let's select all in edit mode, top view. Pivot point to 3D cursor, and rotate in the Z axis holding control for angle snap. Let's unhide window areas and add a subsurf. I'm going to move them in a little. Did you enjoy making the rocket? Please subscribe to support my channel. It will motivate me a lot to continue making these tutorials. Thanks and have a great day guys.